Here's the one that's kind of uh, intriguing as well. The Titans at the Bears. Bears minus four. You know, the Caleb Williams regime starts. Uh, you got a lot of young guys. Got a very talented receiving core there. But that Bears defense is pretty bad. Titans also breaking in a lot of new new toys down there. You got Tony Pollard coming over from the Cowboys. Derrick Henry is now gone. It's going to be Will Levis at the quarterback position now. So a lot of young guys. Um, what do you think about this Titans team? This line's crept down. Some was at four and a half yesterday, gone down to four here. And I think the public's kind of a lot of people are leaning the Titans in this, this spot right here. What are you going to do, Bob? Yeah, there's a line that uh, or public betting pattern that surprised me because with all the hype and the hard knocks and the number one pick and the wide receivers in the off season, I thought the bears would be the public favorite by a long mile. Now I think come Sunday, they will be, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of money, the public's on the Titans. Uh, there's some sharps on the Titans. There's two reasons for that. There's there's also a movement towards the over, some big services, handicapping services that are well respected in the industry, gave out the over earlier in the in the year, the or earlier this week rather. Um, and and it's because Levis is talking about where where you know it's not the old Tennessee Titans. Not gonna be right. a defensively driven team, not gonna be a run oriented team, not gonna be a hold possession kind of team. You know, the Titans have been a notorious under team under Vrabel. So the thought process is that that was overpriced. And then some of these people are betting on Will Levis. I'm not, personally. I've never been a Levis fan. Wasn't a Levis fan at Penn State. Wasn't a Levis fan at Kentucky. Not a Levis fan at the Titans. All the guy did, can do is see to throw vertical routes. Um, you know, So I'm, I don't trust him at all. On the other hand, this is the bet against the rookie, game, bet against the number one draft pick, game one, which has been profitable for forever in the NFL. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I would definitely lean Titans uh, on the spread. Uh, I liked it at four and a half better than I like it at four, three and a half, where it briefly got to yesterday, may get to again today. Because um, I'm not a big uh, – I don't see an ex offensive explosive game. I'd also lean under. Uh, right. I, I, I don't see this game – I'm not – the uh, two issues. The Bears offensive line I think still stinks. So you can have all the great wide receivers in the world. If you have no time, it doesn't work. Second, right. I have not been a fan of this quarterback. I saw him be up and down his freshman year at Oklahoma. Saw him be up and down his sophomore season. And I can't get that Notre Dame game from his junior season out of my head where he right. was atrocious, atrocious. Um, and it's like, and, and you look at deep film reviews and they're like, this guy has flags more. What he's good is he's good off script. You can't mm -hmm. just have a quarterback good off script in the NFL. That mm -hmm. doesn't work consistently in the NFL. Once you, cause you're playing, everybody's in elite defense compared to the college defenses he faced. And so despite the wide receivers, between the offensive line, him being a rookie, doubts about him, I think this game should be, you know, the Bears minus one and a half. That, right. That's where I would have put it. So I like the Titans on the line. Uh, you know, maybe Will Levis is better in his second season. I, I thought Vrabel should not have been fired. I, I'm not a huge fan of the I, – hey, I think the offensive line is going to be better because you have a legend coaching the offensive line because it happens to be the coach's father. Congratulations. I'm not a big fan <laughs> of all these sons and grand – I mean – it worked out for Kyle Shanahan. There's a bunch of other people it hasn't worked out for. All these kids that get jobs because of who their daddy was. Right. Um, Kyle Shanahan earned his way up. It, mm -hmm. it really wasn't because of who his father was. I, mean, I, I was never sold that the Bengals' offensive coordination was any great magical thing. I mean, uh, you know, it was good with Burrow. And, the, and really, he got that job off the second half of last year, off the old Washington QB being good as a backup. And they're like, oh, it must be the offensive coordinator. I'm still not sold. So – I think that uh, you you look at this. I lean Titans because of skepticism about the Bears, uh, but not because I'm overly optimistic about the Titans. Okay, Will, what's your thoughts on this one before we lose? So back, you? so back in July, I this was my favorite pick of Week One because it's so gross, it's so ugly. I took the, uh, I put five units on the Titans, and I rarely do that, but I put Titans plus four and a half, and I sprinkled two on the money line. Um, just kind of everything that Robert said, just fading the number one pick and everything like that. But I actually, uh, so I, I like the Titans in this one, um, just for all the reasons that you guys said. I actually like the over in this game, so I'm a little uh, different than, than uh, Robert on this one. I do think like there were, there's going to be one of those trends uh, this year uh, that we're going to see from the Bears, where I do think they're going to be able to put up points, but it's going to be their their defense is so atrocious. Everyone's looking at all the flashy stuff on the offensive side of the ball. They're forgetting that you got to play defense too. And the Bears defense is still terrible. Uh, they didn't really make any huge improvements from what I saw in the offseason. So I expect the Bears to be in a couple of uh, a couple of shootouts in some of these uh some of these games this season. I don't know if it's this one, but I just figured 
I'm looking at the total and I'm thinking maybe people are, uh, you know, thinking historically the Titans play pretty good defense, but, you know, Vrabel's gone. So who knows what we're going to see from that defense. Um, so I kind of, I, I like the over in this game. I, I think we can see some points and I, I definitely like, uh, I like the Titans to, to get it done as kind of the more uh, veteran, veteran overall uh, well-rounded team. I don't, I don't really, I'm not hyped up about Levis at all or anything, but, you know, for one game, this, this spot opening week, uh, I'll take the four and a half points with the Titans. Yeah, I don't think the Bears should ever be favored by more than a field goal. You don't have a big enough body of work. You got too many young guys in there. And Caleb Williams, for me, it's not about the talent. We know the guy's ultra talented and can, you know, it can make all the plays. But for me, it's the leadership qualities is how motivated are you? I mean, I feel like they spoiled him a little bit living in a penthouse out there in L.A. for his college career, you know. And I've seen this guy last year after losing games. I mean, I've seen him crying in his mama's arms one time. They ask him, they got another interview, and they tell him he just wants to go home and, and lay with his dog and watch TV after they've just been beaten, eliminated from playoff contention and all that stuff. That's not the kind of competitor I want to see running my franchise. I want to see a guy that comes in, you know, is ready to go. And I just don't feel like this guy, that's the biggest question for me is the leadership qualities in the locker room. I do feel like he could have a tendency to rub some guys the wrong way just based off what we've seen in his attitude in, in the college, you know, at Oklahoma, not so much at Oklahoma, more at USC than at Oklahoma. Oklahoma he was still trying to prove himself and get his name out there. He was in the battle with Spencer Rattler and all that. But when he got to USC, man, I saw a different guy from a leadership standpoint. And I just don't think this is a guy that I can trust to run my franchise and be the face of my city and all that. So I don't think they should be favored by in any game this season by more than a field goal there. And I think I'm going to wind up putting a little sprinkle on the Titans money line in this thing at plus 160. Uh, you gonna bet the prop of like what color he's gonna paint his nails for game one? No, oh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I can't find that prop, man. You got to go offshore to get that prop. Oh 